what is AWS Reserved Instance? This is a commitment we make to use a certain instance with a certain platform like Windows or Linux, something like that. Then the type of the instance like T2 small, T2 large, um, those kind of instant type for a fixed amount of time, mostly one year or three year term. Once we purchase this uh, commitment, we will be given large discount on that one. This can be paid on a monthly basis, it is no upfront. Only we are eligible for no upfront if our payment history is good and they have a certain way of calculating. Next one is partial upfront. So we can pay the half of the amount for that all one year or three year. Then the remaining half we can pay monthly basis. The last option is all upfront. That uh, complete payment we will make at the beginning of the reservation. The all upfront will be somewhere 62% that the maximum discount we will get. Partial upfront discount is little lesser than the all upfront. And the no upfront further less discount somewhere like 40%. The all upfront anyone can go for even though we have a bad uh, history of payments. Once we pay it and reserve the instant the payment will be certainly deducted even though we didn't use the instance or even though we didn't have a equivalent instance. So best practice to do that one, first few month, create a normal instant, use it and make sure that instant can be used without the instant type changed, even the region, even the operating system. If we are sure we won't be changing and we can use the same instant, same type, same region, same platform for a long time. Then we can go and create a reserve instant equal under this one is the best option. Because once we purchase the reserved instant, for example, like uh, T2 small, and we feel like uh, this performance not good, if we upgrade to T2 large, extra large or something like that, that particular reservation cost is wasted unless we have an instant equivalent to that configuration. So that's a major issue we have to consider before purchase the reserved instance. So as long as we are having a normal instance which is equivalent to a reserved instance, immediately that particular amount will be deducted so we won't have monthly cost on the real instance. Let's see how to purchase the instance. So now we are going to see the real example by uh, creating the instance and see this is a very rare chance because little big amount we have to pay and we have to commit for one year or three year. So I'm going to show you how to create two T2 small instance for with a three year commitment. I will show you the example until the purchase. Let's go and see. Once log into the AWS console, go to services, either through recently visited if you already used, otherwise through all services, compute EC2 instances. Once select the EC2 instances, if you have already instances, you will be there in the instance section with the existing instances. Otherwise, it will take to the create instance portion. Then move to reserved instances. Here not one point, always make sure the region, what is the region you want to work, select it. So reserved instance as well as the uh, spotted instance should be in the same region. If you already purchased many reserved instances, it will be listed here so you can see it. The status of the instant tell currently this uh, we are under the contract term or if it is already expired we are going to see that as retired one. So in this scenario two active and two already used and finished one there. 
So I'm going to purchase another Simol instance. Normally how we sh should do is, we should create a normal instance. So that is an instance section here. And have to use for some time and make sure we are sure we are going with the same instance type. That is a performance class. Once we are comfortable with that instant type, only we have to go and purchase it. So I'm comfortable with this machine and I want to use it for another three years, same as it is. So a few point I have to notice before purchasing. So once select the instant, I have to make sure what is the instant uh, operating system platform. That is uh, Linux Unix. Then the class available here, T2Simol. Platform detail confirmed. So these are the two major things I have to check on this side, then the region. So that is uh, the region selected. Then go to the river reserved instance, make sure that is a in region I am checking. Then go for a purchased instance, reserved instance. I want to purchase platform Linux Unix as I check. Then I need to go for T2 small instance. Tenancy default offering class standard because comfort convertible is a lower discount rate instant fine 12 month to 36 month actually we are going to search the availabilities then payment method all upfront so before searching i will show you the pricing matters so i'm looking for t2c more i searched and kept it so in this URL, pricing reserved instances, standard reserved instance and convertible. So I was going for standard. So see the savings is 62 percentage. All up front. So I want to purchase three years. If I go to one year, see the 60 percentage will be reduced. It is just 41 percentage savings. So if you are 100% sure, we can go for another three years with the same machine type. Go for three years is more cheap, 62%. Then all upfront. So partial or no upfront also possible. No upfront means we reserve it. We should pay for three years, but the deduction happening monthly basis. So that is a very low discount rate. It is 57%. And it is not available for everyone automatically calculated based on your payments and history and all then uh, they will enable it those people can go and go purchase no upfront and it will be paid monthly basis parcel upfront half of the payment for the all three years will be immediately reduced that's a, this payment then remaining monthly basis we will pay this amount it is 60 percentage if you go for all upfront it is 62 percentage yeah, 62 percentage reduction and the upfront fees is uh, complete and there is no monthly fees for next three years so partial mean the half the amount they put and the amount goes no upfront actually no amount for the upfront amount and it's monthly basis then uh, region wise some minor changes will be there operating system will have minor changes Sometimes it will include the license cost as well. Then uh, shared or dedicated also have their portion. Now go to convertible. Convertible actually giving some flexibilities like you can change later. But only problem it is a lower discount rate. So just carefully see this is 62% savings. The same set of selection. Shared all up from 3 years Linux. 55% only we are getting the discount. So... There is a small difference, but if we are very unsure about uh, which server we are going with, we would go for this uh, uh, convertible. Otherwise, go for standard is most cost effective. So I'm going to do the search. It will show what are the machines available for us. So it shows uh, one machine available for 36 months. It can be any availability. Uh, sometime even two years may be listed because my search criteria is one year to three years so i'm going for this one add to cart so your cart one reserved instant total due now this amount 
the moment I just go to the view cart, I will be charged this amount and I will be given a T2 CMOL for 36 months for one of these machine in the T2 CMOL and the other criteria like Linux platform that combination under the same area region all will be charged. So currently if I go here I have uh, T2 CMOLs. So I actually have T2 CMOL 1, then 2, 3, 4 T2 CMOLs are there. But in my reserved instance I only had 1. So I want to purchase for another 2. So only 1 more will be in the normal terms. So I just select this one and order all. So I'm going to do one by one purchase, that's easy for me. Order all. Order submission successful. Your order is being processed. It may take little while for your payment to be debited. So it will go to my payment method and charge. Now we can see here the queue. To, queue. This is the purchase one now, other two active. So once they process the payment, they will uh, make this active. That moment, one of my T2 small instant, the monthly payment will be canceled for next three years and all will be included part of this particular uh, purchase. So it's just a contract actually. In my, uh, theoretically, what happened is uh, I have uh, uh, three T2 small instances, one, two, no, not this one, this is stopped. So this running one, then uh, this is running two T2 small instance, then one more T2 small, yeah, there are two T2 smalls, then this is another T2 small. So actually I have three T2 smalls, all three are Linux servers. So this will be minus on the moment that reserved instance is active. 